Hey friends, welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl. If you're new to our channel, welcome. My name is Megan, and we share food, family, and wellness videos and blog posts. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite newborn products. Two months ago, my husband and I welcomed our beautiful daughter, Ella, and over the past few months, we've discovered which baby products are our favorites. So I'll be sharing them with you in today's video. And if you're not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Healthy Grocery Girl. So let's get started. The first product I'm excited to share with you is this little sound machine. It's from Munchkin. It's called the Shush, I believe, portable sound machine. And we love it so much. We have two of them. The other sound machine is being used right now in my daughter's nursery as she naps, but right away we started using this product, the sound machine, when she was born, and it pretty much played 24 seven. We would bring it with us to the pediatrician's office on walks. I love that it has three different sounds. It has a shushing sound, a white noise sound, and also a heartbeat. I also love how affordable this sound machine is. It would make a great gift for a new mom. And I do recommend getting two of these sound machines because it's really nice to have them throughout the house. All of the products I mentioned in today's video, I'll put links below in the video description box. The next product that I absolutely love and I really think every new parent should have is one of those giant exercise balls. It is so great to bounce on the exercise ball, hold your baby. It helps calm them if they're fussy or if they're tired and they need to go to sleep. And my husband is a magician. He can bounce our baby to sleep on that exercise ball. It's a really affordable, great product that you may not think that you would need, but I definitely recommend having one. Um, I'll see if I can find one online that I recommend, but you can really find an exercise ball at Target or really a lot of local stores or you know, just Google it. It's a pretty simple product, but I do recommend having one. You will not regret it. The next product is a baby carrier. We have two carriers. We have the Ergo. This is the 360 Cool Air Mesh. Um, we live in Southern California, so it gets really hot, so it's nice having the cool air mesh option. We have the Ergo, and then we also have the Solly Baby Wrap. I will link both of them below. If you go to their websites, you can learn more about each carrier, what's different about them. Um, some things that I like about each carrier. So the Ergo, I like how easy it is to put on. You can put this on really quickly, carry your baby around, and of course, um, it makes it easy to be hands-free and still you know, get some stuff done around the house, but still have your baby close to you. The Solly Wrap is a little bit more lightweight, so sometimes I do find myself getting really hot and sweaty with the Ergo, and the Solly Baby Wrap is more lightweight material, but the Solly Wrap does take just a few more seconds to put on your body. It's really simple once you um, learn how to use the Solly Wrap, and their website has really great tutorials, but those are just a few key differences, but I really love having a baby care Carrier. It's so nice to be able to have your baby close to you because sometimes they go through phases where they are really clingy and cry, cry a lot more, and they really want to be close to you. Um, and they may just want to be held all day long. And it's really nice to be able to have a carrier so you can keep them close to you, but you can still get things done around the house. The next product I'm excited to share with you guys about is called the Snoo, which I have on my side of the bed, and we've been transitioning Ella to sleep in. The Snoo is a smart sleeper and it is the safest and smartest bassinet created by Dr. Harvey Karp, author of The Happiest Baby on the Block. The Snoo applies Dr. Karp's popular five S's, which are soothing techniques to help give your baby a really safe and happy sleep in the fourth trimester. And those five S's are swaddle, stomach, or side position, swoosh, swing, and suck. I first discovered Dr. Harvey Karp by reading his book, like I said, The Happiest Baby on the Block. It's a really great book with lots of good information, which led me to then discover the snoo. And following The Happiest Baby on Instagram, I was so impressed by all of the really amazing reviews from parents on their experience using the snoo. So I was really excited to see how our Ella would like the snoo. To be honest, I wasn't sure if the snoo was going to work for us at first, and here's why. Ella did not like to be swaddled, and she did not like to sleep on her back, and I thought that we were unique in that situation. However, I discovered that a lot of newborns do not like to be swaddled, and they do not like to sleep on their back. So what you need to do is you need to not give up, you need to stick with it, and then you will see some improvement. That's what we did, and what I would do is I would swaddle Ella in the snoo swaddle sack that it comes with when I was nursing her, which was a happy, 
cozy experience and a really good transition than when I would put her in the snoo um, to sleep. And it takes sometimes three to five days, it could even take a week for your little one to really get used to being swaddled um, and using the snoo. But once you do, I promise you it's so worth it. Um, Ella currently is sleeping four to six hours for her initial stretch and then she wakes up about every um, two to three hours to nurse after that. Sleep is so important as a new parent. Um, it gives you sanity, it makes you happier, more patient. The snoo is one of the best things you can invest in. It, I think it's the best bassinet out there currently. Um, and so if you're looking for you know, a good bassinet for your little one, to have them in the same room as you um, when they're little for sleeping, the snoo is just the best way to go. I'll put a link below to their website um, in the video description box below. Their website has all, all the information, way more information about uh, the five S's and the snoo in general. So definitely head over there to check it out, get more information. Um, but like I said, the snoo is amazing, so you should definitely check it out. The next product I'm excited to share with you guys about is the Docatot. And I absolutely love this product. We have two covers for the Docatot, which I do recommend um, because babies sometimes spit up. And if they spit up in the middle of the night, you don't wanna have to then wash your Docatot cover. That's just not realistic in the middle of the night. So it's really nice to be able to have an extra one just to slip the new fresh clean cover on. I have kind of the standard white cover that it comes with and then I love this floral cover, but they have so many beautiful covers on their website. But what I love about the Docatot is when I first brought Ella home, um, I struggled with a lot of postpartum anxiety and I really loved being able to have her right there in the bed, but in a safe um, sleeper for me to easily be able to see her. I could nurse her in the middle of the night. And what I also love about the Docatot is it's really easy to travel with. They have travel bag covers. So when you're on the go, if you have summer travels or just traveling in general, you're bringing your baby with you, you can give them a similar sleep experience even when you're on the go and away from home. Next, I wanna share with you two apps that I absolutely love. The first is called Wonder Weeks. And basically it's based on your baby's due date and it tells you when your baby's going through developmental leaps things that they're experiencing that are new. Suddenly, perhaps they're discovering patterns or they're seeing more things in the world around them. And when they go through these developmental leaps, they can be fussier, more clingy, they can cry more. And so as a new parent, when your baby's crying, you really wanna help them and figure out why are they crying? Are they hungry? Are they tired? Do they need their diaper changed? Are they too hot? Are they too, too cold? Sometimes all of those needs are met, but they still are fussy and they still are crying. And it may make you wonder, is something wrong? But if you have the Wonder Weeks app, you can know, oh, my baby's going through a leap this week. And so it's normal for them to be more fussy or clingy during this week of their life. And it really gives you peace of mind as a parent. And it's also really fun to know what they're going through as a newborn, these leaps that they're making. The next app that I love is called Baby Manager. When you have a newborn baby, you're going to become obsessed with tracking your feeds. If you're breastfeeding, uh, when you feed, how long you feed, switching back and forth from the right breast to the left breast. You're also going to become obsessed with their poops, their pees, tracking their diapers, especially in the beginning. And so when you have an app, it makes it so much easier because as a new parent, you're also probably sleep deprived like us. And it's basically impossible to keep all that information in your head. And so I love having the app. It's really simple to just keep track of everything. And it's also really fun because in the first two months of Ella's life, I've already logged over 1,000 feeds. I've nursed her over a thousand times, which is crazy, but also really amazing. So it's a really great app. I definitely recommend it and both the apps I recommend um, I'll put links below in the video description box. Well I hope you found this video helpful today. Um, if you're expecting congratulations, if you have a new little one congratulations. There's so much to learn about and to discover as a new parent so I hope you found this video helpful. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!